Well, hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. This is Random Move Logo and today we're going to talk about the mighty Hayabusa. The Hayabusa, as we Indians know it, is the Dhoom bike. Uh, if you are not from India, then you might not know this, but you can Google Dhoom Hayabusa. This bike was in production since 1999. Uh, that means 20 years almost 20 years it has stopped it has officially stopped production of their uh, of the bike but it will be continue to be sold in uh, the US and uh, and India in 2019 now the UK has strict emission norms so they won't be able to uh, sell it over there but yeah I mean if you can get your hands on one of the Hayabusa's that are still available in the market then probably you can keep it and you can tell your grandkids that hey this is a legendary bike the Hayabusa actually sits in line with the Ninja H2 and uh, the, the Kawasaki Ninja H2 and the uh, the ZX 14R. Now, there is no news from Kawasaki uh, about the ZX 14R yet, the 2019 model. So we are still waiting upon that. We still know. We are still don't know what is the update on that. The Hayabusa, since it was released in 1999, has uh, not seen many changes there were a few tweaks to the engine and to how the looks are however it has not seen any major facelifts or major upgrades to it obviously how much more would you upgrade a hyperbike right so suzuki have actually retained the logo and the um, name hayabusa so that means that they want to come up with something in the near future, not not in this year, obviously in the near future. And with we saw the Suzuki Katana in the Aikma Motor Show. I'm guessing, I'm not really sure, but yes, we have we did see the uh, the Suzuki Katana in the in one of the motor shows, and I am looking forward to that. I am a, um, I'm a fan of how the katana actually looks with the box headlamp and um, I I like the classic UJM motorcycle look with the either the box headlamp or the circular headlamp it it really gives a, a nice appeal to the motorcycle I, I don't know I mean nowadays yeah motorcycles look sharper they look uh, aggressive they look menacing but there, there is something about UJM motorcycles that soothes my heart like the older ones in the 2000s, in the 90s and the 2000s the katana the is going is going to be is going to hit the roads i don't know if it's coming to india i'm not sure and i am really looking forward to what suzuki comes up with because they have retained the name and logo of the Busa. so let's see what let's see what is in the plate now that they have discontinued uh, the outgoing model they can focus on maybe a thousand cc one of the hayabusa you know i i know we have the gsxr series uh, 750 and 1000 but if they really have to make one for the uh, for, for the people who love the brand and who love the motorcycle I think a thousand cc Hayabusa will be a, a treat for the people who actually wanted to buy a Hayabusa but because of this because of the Euro 4 emissions they, they, are, they are unable to buy it this definitely does remind me of a quote from um, The Dark Knight Rises so the, the Dark Knight where Harvey Dent says you either die a hero or you see yourself uh, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain 
and I think this really really goes with anything <laughs> I mean you see uh, for example the headphone jack uh, Apple removed the headphone jack from their phones and people people were not happy with it I mean but then, then it was incorporated by a lot of other uh, brands as well this is one way coming, coming from the wrong side Great. that was about it for today guys this very short vlog um, and If you do like my content, please subscribe to my channel. I will be posting videos like regularly once a week now. Yeah, if you like what my content is, please subscribe to my channel and help this community grow. Later.